Well, in March, any adult will be able to apply to officiate a wedding in New York State. Zero training or certificates required. Last month, Governor Hochul signed a new bill into law that allows anyone older than 18 to apply for a one-day efficient license. Okay, so there is a one-day license. But now couples can get married by either a family member or a friend. Previously, only a number of government and religiously ordained officials were permitted to officiate weddings. Joining me now is one of the co-sponsors of the bill, former New York Assemblywoman Sandy Galef. Thank you so much for being here. Well, it's great to be here. This is a bill that you've pushed for for nearly a decade. Why was this so important to you? It was actually more than a decade. Um, well, I had gone to a wedding in California, and the um, officiant um, was the um, a family member. And it was a lovely, lovely wedding. And I've been to some where um, individual clergy had been hired. And actually, um, the wedding, you know, there wasn't the relationship with the wedding officiant. And so when I came back to New York, I, I said, well, can we do this in New York? And it was just not clear on, in our domestic relations law that, um, yes, uh, an individual can be an officiant. Uh, people were doing it. They were going online. They were signing up as Internet officiants. Um, and um, the whole question was, is this legal? Absolutely. I, I, I'm also from California, and um, so many of the weddings I've been to have been what you've described. I'm just imagining standing there if my father or my mom were officiating. I feel like I would just be bawling the entire time, but, <laughs> but it, is a, it is a lovely option. Um, how did it feel to finally get this signed into law? Well, it was so exciting, um, you know, when the governor signed it. It was actually one of my last bills. I've just ended my term in the New York State Assembly. It was my last bill at, you know, like 530 in the morning. And I was excited to get it done. And then I was excited that the governor had signed it. Because I think what it does, you know, it allows people the opportunity to have choices. And, um, you know, it is it is it has been recommended that maybe 43 percent of, of the people getting married today um, are actually actually um, using family or relatives. And, and the whole question is legality. We want to be sure in New York that what we're doing is legal and that the wedding is really official and there are no problems that come down uh, the line later on. So uh, I was I was delighted. You know, I think it's 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 wonderful because not everybody wants a religious uh, wedding uh, or or can't participate in a religious wedding um, for various reasons. So this this is just a wonderful option. Sure. And we do want to congratulate you for retiring after 43 years of public service as a New York uh, assembly woman. Uh, can we ask, will you use any of your spare time to officiate some weddings? Well, I actually could. I mean, I, I can do that now. Well, I could do it until the end of December as a member of the New York State Assembly. I could be an officiant. That that got changed a few years ago. Um, if, if somebody would ask me to be an officiant, I would really like to do that because I know that I'd be doing it legally, not not signing up on the Internet um, to be an officiant. So, She's open to it. You you heard it here. <laughs> the requests will be coming in. Um, Assemblywoman right. Sandy Galef, this was a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, happy happy weddings to everybody. Happy weddings. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.